26 years later, there are still no arrests in the murder of a six-year-old Salt Lake City girl. In August of 1995, Rosie Tapia was kidnapped, and the following morning, her body was found in a canal near her parents' apartment. Her case remains one of Utah's high-profile unsolved mysteries. For every crime, there's a story, and the truth matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz in the studio with tonight's Justice Files. Thanks, Rick. You know, this past year, there was hope for the family of Rosie Tapia. A possible person of interest was developed thanks to a composite from a witness who had never been interviewed by police before. But once again, those hopes were dashed. It don't get easier. It gets harder because as the time goes for Rosie, I feel like we're not getting anywhere in her case. For more than two decades, Luane Tapia arrives at the Mount Cavalry Cemetery to reflect on her daughter's life. On August 13, 1995, Rosie Tapia was taken from her bedroom, sexually assaulted, and dumped into a nearby canal. Her killer has never been found. Tapia's body was found the next day by someone walking along the banks of the canal. All I want to do is solve her case before something happens to me and I won't be able to do anything. In 2020, ABC4 and a private investigator helped develop this composite of a possible person of interest. It was created from a neighbor who police overlooked in 1995. Last year, a man was brought in for questioning and police took his DNA. But recently, Salt Lake Police notified the family and claimed it wasn't a match to the DNA left at the crime scene. But... We're not going to give up hope. The family's investigator learned friends of Rosie's older sister often used the window to pay that sister late night visits. This person of interest was one of those friends. What we feel is, given the fact that this individual lived in the neighborhood, that it was probably his circle of friends, that maybe the, the witness didn't see the killer, but the witness saw a friend of the killer because the time of night was accurate and the circumstance that the individual had wet Levi's from the knees down can't be ignored. It's just another long line of setbacks for Luane Tapia and her family. In 2020, another daughter, Emilia, also passed away, adding to Tapia's sorrow. So with two daughters now gone, it's a lot harder because I think about them all the time. But it's those living, like her grandchildren, that she says gives her strength to continue. She understands time's not on her side. Still, she hopes she'll see justice for Rosie. It's been 26 years. Please step up and give us this information. That's all I ask for is to solve her case. Now, Tapia says she's frustrated with Salt Lake City Police because they won't give her any updates. Since 2020, according to court records, they have taken uh, DNA from an inmate at the prison. But like this case, it didn't match their evidence. Now, we have links for anyone who has information. Visit our website, abc4.com. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.